So day four rolls around, we're in a new piece of the property and, and down by, essentially we're going in at dark. Um, it's just, just starting to break light. We're down in the pivot area where they have pivots and all the agriculture ground is. And what it is is these deer are taking, they're going from those fields, going back in the canyons to the bed. So we're just trying to catch a glimpse of, of anything coming back out of the food, going to bed. And uh, as the sun starts to creep up, about probably 300 yards away, um, I catch movement and man, there's a group, two bucks especially in the group, there's a group of four. Um, two of the bucks were really, really big deer. One of them was hard horn and one was in full velvet. All right, we came in this morning, day four, uh, Rush Creek Adventures. Came up, scouted the field, saw two good muleys come out of the corn and go up into these, these hills. So we're kind of I've wrapped around and we're getting close to where we can get up on them, but it's gonna be tough. There's a lot of deer in here. Um, hopefully we can get in here, kind of undetected, get eyes on them again, and uh, see if we can't get make a stalk maybe, hopefully. We'll see. So once the deer disappear into the canyon, we circle around them to keep the wind. And it's kind of playing a minefield to get back there because of all the does and the little bucks that had bedded throughout the, throughout the canyons. Um, as the deer go in, it, it seems like the bucks keep going, the bachelor group of bucks keep going back deeper, 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 and everything else is kind of flagging off and, and bedding down. And we ended up falling about a mile and a half back in the canyons, just trying to parallel, just trying to get an eye on one of the bucks in the group to try to keep up with them and just parallel them. Um, finally, about 9.30, probably 10 o'clock, they go into a bowl and just these four bucks go into the bowl and they all bed up. So after we sat there for about an hour, we finally caught movement and uh, it was a velvet buck, really heavy, had a lot of trash. We start kind of moving on him and inching in and literally Anthony and I were inching by on our bellies, crawling. We just had the bow and the camera, um, left our packs, left our water, everything back there. It takes us an hour to get from 60 yards from this buck into 15. Uh, so we just, we just hunker down and we wait. about probably 15 minutes later and all of a sudden the buck stands up and he's coming right at us. Farmers think about harvest as maximizing their yields. As someone who invests in whitetails year round, I measure my gains in inches. I feed my deer only the best whole grain blends by Big Time, fortified with Whitetail Institute's 30 out 6 minerals and Big Time's proprietary BT90 micronutrients. Big Time has more high quality nutrition with no fillers, byproducts, or artificial ingredients. Big Time. Attract. Develop. Grow. Since 2007, our Kentucky-based service team has answered each one of your calls. You spoke, and we listened. The 2017 Covert Wireless Cameras. Made by us. Perfected by you. So after being on this stock for probably five hours, um, we're sitting there and bam, he stands up, he's coming. It's go time. I got to make sure Anthony's got the record button hit and he's on him. I got to make sure that I'm going to hit this deer in the right spot. Uh, it's all got to come together right now. Watch him. Watch him. Watch him. 
Oh, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's a big one here. There he is right there. Right there. He's going down. You know what? Rush Creek Adventures. <laughs> Look at that sucker, too. Holy smoke. See that one? Look at that one over there. That one right there. There are three bucks in this group. And I'm gonna tell you, those were some big old muleys now. I came to Nebraska. I wanted to kill a velvet buck my bow and we've been here for four days and man we just it's so tough to get pulled off with the camera guy and bow but we finally got the right deer in the right spot on the right day so we we're gonna take a break give him some time he's hit hard um, give him a little bit and then we will uh, I think my arrow actually came out too. I gotta go get it. But. When I when I drew my bow, I, I thought that was like the world record mule deer. Um, he looked like the biggest thing I've ever seen in my life. And seeing that arrow go through him, seeing him run away, seeing the blood just pumping out of him as he's trying to go go up the other hill, um, was one of the most satisfying things I, I'd had in a long time. It was really nice to have it done. And in fact, I looked at Anthony and I, I said. I, what do I do now? <laughs> I didn't even know. Like it was, it was one of those moments that you always talk about. That's on your bucket list, and then you have it accomplished. And I just wanted to soak it in as much as I could, and just take advantage of of the situation I was put into. Smokes. <laughs> we knew it was big, but I didn't know it was that big. Full velvet. Rush Creek Adventures, man. What do you say? Holy smokes. I don't even know what to say right now. Um, I know I'm probably gonna get beat up for that shot a little bit, but it was six yards. Um, that, with the penetration ability of that broadhead, it went all the way through and we didn't even find the arrow. Uh, probably went a good 30, 40 yards past him, so. Um, can't say enough about it but man we have been at him hard this is exactly what we wanted what a big old deer here good golly um well it is hot as you can probably tell it's about 92 degrees so we're gonna get him out of here and then uh get back and start cooling him off try to get this rack cooled off so we can get it freeze dried get him on the wall stealth is lethal Specifically optimized for close quarters engagement and tight shot positions, the 2018 Triax is the quietest, most vibration-free bow we've ever created. Smooth to draw, silent to shoot. Experience it today at your local authorized retailer.